All right, as the entire nation mourns the loss of those who were on board this ill-fated ferry, Korean authorities are broadening their investigation on what exactly happened on the day of the ferry capsize and who is responsible for this man-made disaster. To find out more, we connect live with our Yu Lian. She is standing by at our newsroom. Lian, the prosecutors continue to investigate the crew members and captain of the Seoharo. Possible charges include ones related to fleeing the ship without trying to save the remaining passengers. Could you tell us more? That's right. As you may remember, all 15 crew members left the doomed Seoro ferry, and it seems, looking at the unfolding investigation, all of them may face charges. The investigation is expanding quickly, and now 11 of the 15 have been charged. That, of course, includes a captain who has been detained since last Saturday and is charged with five offenses, including negligence of duty and violating ship crew law. The investigators are now looking into whether he and his crew members can be charged with what's called a murder by omission that refers to death caused by inaction of the defendant. The investigators will have to decide whether the captain and his crew crew willfully took flight from the ship, not caring whether the remaining passengers lived or died. Now, four of the crew members undergoing intense investigation have conveyed severe psychological distress and are now receiving medical treatment in the hospital. Leon, uh, not only the captain and the crew, but the ferry operator, which is the Cheongaejin Marine Company, is also under fire. Uh, tell us more. That's right, the prosecutors seem to think the fundamental reason for the sinking of the Seoro ferry lies with its operator. Now, earlier this week, officials from the Ministry of Oceans and Fisheries had said the Cheongaejin Marine Company was negligent regarding safety checks on the ferry. Investigators are looking into the possibility that the practical owner, Yu byung on lobbied his way into getting out of those safety checks. A joint investigation team earlier today raided some 10 offices and home of Yu, as well as the headquarters of the Cheongaejin Marine Company here in Seoul. Also, Yu's two sons are the biggest shareholders of the ferry's operating company, and the whole family has been banned from traveling out of the country since this past Sunday. We'll continue to bring you more updates in our later newscasts.